talk about the uh, the thymus gland, and uh, and then tomorrow we'll do the second the secondary uh, lymphoid organs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, start. Uh, so this, this slide uh, uh, described on page to, uh, 20. Sorry, page 20 of your uh, lab notes. The first one we're going to look at is slide 36, the thymus. And you see here uh, with very the lowest uh, power the structure of the thymus. And I just try to go around. And here we see a fraction of the connected. I just hold it. This is the uh, this is a fraction of that connective tissue uh, capsule that I talked about, and uh, these uh, smaller septa here and uh, here a larger septum that uh, that reaches down into uh, the deep uh, tissue of the of the thymus. Okay, so here you see these uh, tiny globules. This one, another one that are separated by this thin uh, connective tissue septa. And these, uh, we will see the blood vessels uh, are uh, running. And if I zoom on uh, this one, we probably, when we, with just the 10x objective, we will see that there are blood vessels in, in the septa here. Definitely, we can see them, okay? So these are the blood vessels. Chrome. I'm going to talk about uh, a number of different and, uh, structural details of the thymus that I did not talk about in the in the lecture because it is much easier to understand uh, when we look at uh, look at the histology of the thymus. So the next important uh, structural feature that I move back the uh, to the lowest power. We just go okay. through the different know. things in the solar power. Again, what you see here, these are the these are the tiny globules, and I'm just gonna pick out one that's gonna be this one right here, and just pull it right to the middle of the of the screen. Okay. If you okay. see this all this time? very dark uh, oh, black uh, area out here, here yeah. from here. This is what okay, we call the cortex yeah, of the down. tiny globule. Okay, the cortex. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, why is it so dark? Because there are uh, lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, in very, very large number. What other cells are present there? Underneath the T lymphocytes, there are those epithelial reticular cells which compose the, the stroma of the thymus. And, uh, and there are also a large number of macrophages that Amber's are responsible for the removal Amber's of the cell disease. Oh. I also did not mention in the, in the lecture that uh, more than 99% of the, of the T lymphocytes that uh, are being produced in the thymus are eliminated. Only a very small uh, fraction of these cells will actually develop into ma mature immunocompetent either T helper or T cytotoxic T lymphocytes. Most of them are being eliminated and nobody really knows the re reason for this very inefficient uh, process that, uh, that, uh, that happens in the thymus. So this is the area, this cortical region where the T cells uh, are developing. And the movement of the T cells comes from the periphery so if we would, uh, we would uh, stay for ma markers of very early T cells and then uh, more mature T cells, we would see the more mature T cells in this inner area and the less uh, maturity will, uh, will be present in the, in the peripheral area. Okay? That's how the, the T cells develop. There are also very specialized uh, cells of these uh, stromal cells, the epithelial reticular cells, that are called thymic nurse cells. These thymic nurse cells are able to engulf T lymphocytes. And it is not uh, very well understood uh, uh, what, what happens inside of the thymic nurse cells. But some of the T cells that are being engulfed, and these cells are uh, literally inside the cytoplasm of uh, the thymic nurse cells. Again, we will not be able to see it on this section, 
But what happens is that some of these cells are being destroyed by these thymic nerve cells, and some of the cells will uh, be released and allowed to go to the next stage of the development. So that's another interesting uh, process that happens in the thymus. I also told, uh, mentioned that the thymus is the most active uh, soon after birth and, and during uh, adolescence, and it will involute by uh, puberty. And this is obviously a very uh, early uh, age when uh, we see a lots and lots of uh, T lymphocytes uh, in this area. And I will show you another section that is from, uh, from an older uh, person, and you will see that the cortex of the lobules is much uh, thinner, and we will see much larger medullary region that is less cellular here. If I just move around, you see that all the tiny globules look very similar. They are obviously cut in different uh, levels, but if I move around, you see the septa, and uh, you see uh, these lobules, and this is an early thymus uh, from early age, and right here in the middle of the section, when it's not that faded, this uh, lobule is actually very nice, and it shows you the cortex and the medulla. And I tried to zoom on this one and uh, 